Hello, my name is Chris Schalk. I'm a Google Developer Advocate, and I'm here at the Web 2.0 conference in San Francisco. And I'm here with Farheng Kasai, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the platform that they just announced. So feel free to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about the platform that you announced today. Hi, Chris. Uh, my name is Farheng Kasai, and uh, we are here today to announce that eBay is opening up Selling Manager to all developers. And Selling Manager is the application where all the sellers go to manage their business on eBay. And we're opening up so that you can deploy your applications, develop your applications, and deploy directly to the selling manager. Cool. So can you describe a little bit of like uh, some of the technical details behind your implementation, uh, such as how, how does it use open social gadget technology? So uh, we are opening up selling manager to developers. And uh, the applications that developers deploy on selling manager are based on the gadget specification. And this is the same extensibility technology that is underlying open social. And so can you explain maybe some of the reasons why that you felt standardizing on gadget technology uh, to base your implementation on? Like why was that like the right choice for you uh, in your particular case? Uh, that, that's a very good question because we have a, we had a very lively debate about this at, at eBay. Gadget technology, as you know, provides the what I call the so-called plumbing underneath all applications, infrastructure, stuff like security, configuration, resource management, internationalization, portable deployment, things like that that are not terribly interesting to the application layer, but are extremely vital. And we could have actually duplicated and developed it ourselves, but we think it's to the benefit of everyone in the internet community to actually help one standard to shape up around all of these application infrastructure component. So we thought that we're gonna use gadget technology and we uh, help develop the spec towards uh, where it actually enables all classes of application to be developed, not only social application, but also commerce applications as well. Great, thanks. Can you explain a little bit like also how you use the uh, Apache Shindig technology and how you actually took that and, and created actually your product? Can you explain a little bit of that process? So uh, Apache Shindig, for uh, people who might not be familiar with it, is a open source uh, reference implementation of Gadget. And when we decided to use Gadget and to support Gadget, it uh, gave us actually a boost for rapid deployment and development. We adopted Apache Shindig, and we started obviously changing some of the, the code. And Shindig is actually designed uh, to be uh, customizable per deployment. So we changed some stuff, mostly around the periphery, security stuff, configuration stuff, some of the caching. Uh, but uh, using Apache Shindig actually gave us a pretty good boost in our development. Mm -hmm. And uh, how would you describe the experience when working with some of the other developers who actually commit code to uh, Shindig? So Shindig is an open source uh, application and it has a vibrant community around it. And uh, we had the benefit of actually using uh, their contributions and uh, they constantly develop different features on Shindig. They constantly uh, improve different aspects of it, including performance and security. So that was another attractive aspect of uh, using an open source paradigm that uh, let us uh, chose uh, Apache Shindig. Mm -hmm. So let me shift gears a little bit, um, kind of stepping away from the, the pure technology, but also speaking like in plain, in plain language, how will your um, open social implementation now both improve the uh, eBay power seller as well as uh, gadget developers experience overall? So uh, whatever helps uh, eBay sellers helps eBay. And uh, these gadgets uh, are back actually full-fledged commercial applications, and they're going to help our sellers, power sellers or otherwise, to improve their efficiency and improve their productivity. So in this case, we think it's going to be a good help to our sellers. Mm -hmm. And how about from the gadget developer's perspective? Um, how's the environment going to help? Oh, from the gadget developer's perspective, this is a very good opportunity to actually uh, access a qualified large customer base who are actually willing to pay for any tools or any application that helps them be more productive or more competitive. So uh, to, to my knowledge, this is one of the very few solid uh, money-making opportunities that the gadget community has out there. Uh, and they can de deploy the application, it's very easy, they're already familiar with how to develop gadgets, and uh, they can uh, make it available to a large community of eBay sellers. Mm -hmm. Great, so um, how do you see your new open social implementation affecting eBay's overall business, like what's the net effect that you expect to see? Uh, as I mentioned, anything that uh, help our sellers helps eBay. 
And uh, we definitely are enabling the development community, the gadget development community, to help eBay sellers drive their growth by increasing their productivity. So in that case, we think it's going to help our sellers that way. Great, great. So um, getting back to gadget technology, so right now you have it in your um, selling manager uh, implementation. Do you expect to see gadgets uh, in other portions uh, on eBay's site? Uh, let me uh, ask you the question. What do you think uh, we should do next with our gadgets? Sure. Um, I could see a number of ways where you could, uh, for example, I could see gadget applications themselves being uh, created, which could then exist on other open social containers and providing kind of like a front door uh, step that would allow anyone out there who has like their comfortable social environment to then quickly jump into the eBay experience. Uh, that's one thing that I could see. Now that you're a container, you could easily facilitate that with your implementation. And that's uh, another reason that we chose gadgets. And mm -hmm. that's the beauty of it, exactly what you said, which right. is a technology that is well understood by everyone, including, for example, you. And based on that, you start thinking about what other possibilities are there. And some of them, you might need eBay help to implement it. And most of them, actually, you don't even need eBay help. And you can actually implement these gadgets. And eBay is a container. And your gadgets can do uh, anything that is useful to our seller community. Great. So I'd like to wrap it up. And uh, if before we finish up, if you could tell me what are the next steps a gadget developer can take to learn about how to develop on your platform? So uh, the gadget developers can visit developer.ebay.com slash web20. The URL, again, is developer.ebay.com slash web20. And you'll find all the information to get started over there. Uh, you can sign up to become an eBay developer. And if you're already an eBay developer, you find all the information to learn about the selling manager apps, how to develop one, and how to deploy one uh, on eBay. Great. Well, uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to uh, thank you again. It's been a pleasure working with you. And I'd also like to congratulate you on the launch of your new gadget container implementation for selling manager apps. And, uh, and again, uh, hats off to you guys. Thank you. We are very excited about it as well. And uh, uh, thank you for inviting us and letting us uh, tell people about this opportunity. Great. Thanks. Thank you.